Hi, my name is James Barry. I imagine you're watching this video because you want to become a wedding photographer. You're a fool. It's a crazy, crazy form of photography. Normally we have some degree of control over what's going on, the lighting, the location. We can abandon it if the weather's are poor. In a wedding, none of this actually happens. We have to deal with the politics of not just one, but two families, which are quite often have totally different ideas about what's going to actually happen on the day. We are right in the middle and we can get everything wrong and it's quite often impossible to get everything right. We're dealing with registrars who are bored, vicars who are so cynical because they know they're never going to see these people in their church again and hotel managers that haven't a clue about wedding photography even down to the fact that they don't believe that despite the fact we're doing a 12 hour day we need feeding. You have everything to lose and very little to gain here. If you spend more than five minutes taking photographs of the bride, the fact that she was half an hour late getting ready won't matter. It will be your fault that she's late. It won't be hers. Wedding photography is not for the faint-hearted. You need to know your equipment inside out, work faster than you ever believe possible whilst handling all these different characters of the day. A bride who has been completely overruled by her mother, who thinks she knows best, a groom that just wants a peaceful quiet day and to get to the bar as quickly as possible, and whose parents have been divorced for 10 years, haven't spoken to each other and are absolutely infuriated that they haven't been involved in the organisation of the wedding and you're right in the middle of this and are there longer than any other services. Everybody else comes and goes. The vicar, the person delivering the flowers, the person doing the cake, you're there for the whole duration and right at the centre of this. This is all about people skills, not ha about how to handle a camera. There are no excuses here, no opportunity to reshoot. You can't rely on any single piece of equipment Personally, I've had a £3,500 digital camera fail, a lens go when a grub screw came out of the aperture, and also a flash gun go. You must have two of everything, and remember, most churches and registry offices don't allow flash, so you've got to have fast lenses, which means they're horribly expensive, but if you're going to do a job and charge professional rates, you've got to have the professional equipment to do it. So where do you start? by de-stressing your day as much as is possible. How do you do that? Well, the first thing you do is you get yourself trained. We run training courses here at the studio and there's lots of other places that do it as well. You need to know the 40 standard wedding photographs that a, a couple will expect after the wedding. You not only need to know those, and they're coming up right here now as we go through this video, but you also need to know the tips to get these quickly. This is not a form of photography where you want to learn by your mistake. You will have a bride that will tell the entire world that you did a bad job as a photographer. What you have in your favour is that weddings are highly ritualistic. They always follow the same format, regardless of whether they're at a registry office or a church or in a hotel and the photography will reflect this. Once you crack this code, once you understand what you need to do at each location and situation, then you're halfway there. You need to do your homework. If you don't, you'll get caught out and boy, will your confidence suffer.